1,500 homes. Wow. Ten people dead. It, I mean, this started, what, yesterday, the day before? Yeah. Just exploded. The winds have pushed it so fast. Yeah. They said it spread at a rate that, you know, they haven't really seen yeah. before. So oh. hard to get on top of that. Yeah. Wow. Oof. All right. Well, they're looking at, you know, fires there, low humidity, high heat, uh, you know, things looking to kind of improve possibly the next couple of days as far as weather conditions, at least with the erratic winds. Um, but boy, different story around here. We've got one nice day coming uh, and then a cool down, but it'll make it feel more fall like. So if you've still been kind of waiting to pull out the fall uh, clothes, maybe you took a shopping trip or something and got some new fall clothes, yeah. uh, I think this week will be the time to start pulling those yes. out. Okay. Okay. So get the, uh, yeah, you said the chimneys are, you know, working. Oh, yeah, saw some of those. Out. Yep, and, saw uh, them out yesterday. Fireplaces up and running, heaters on. I don't know, I'm starting to shift gears here. So, uh, yeah, we are talking about changes. Today, nice and warm. It will be breezy. Then we get two cold fronts pushing their way through the area. One tomorrow, one on Friday. That second one, I think, could bring a chance of showers for your Friday. But then we dry out by Saturday. A cool weekend in store, uh, but at least we'll be talking about more sunshine than anything else. So here's what's happening on the jet stream forecast. Again, kind of showing us the uh, the winds and everything that really drives our weather patterns into play. Uh, warmer today, but it is going to be breezy ahead of this feature here. This cold front uh, is going to be what drives in that cooler air from the Gulf of Alaska down through the British Columbia coastline. And then again, as you see this move through, uh, we'll be watching for the cool air to kind of filter into place uh, and sink into treasure, the Treasure Valley and Southwest Idaho and our surrounding areas too. So this sticks around after Wednesday. We're stuck in the low 50s as far as high temperatures and then we'll see the potential for the showers to move in. I would say by Friday as this trough, uh, the little dip that you see here starts to shift east. By the weekend, it does zip off to the east and that's going to allow slightly more mild temperatures to come back into play for us as we head toward your weekend. Right now outside, 40s for most of us, 39 though in Mountain Home and 27 in McCall. A brisk start this morning. Not near as cold as yesterday, thanks in part to some of the cloud cover. A nice little deck of clouds that's kind of draped across the valley early for us today. So may wake up to more clouds and sunshine, but hopefully some sun breaks out there early, leading to a sunny afternoon, though, as a lot of the cloud cover starts to break apart. You can kind of see uh, just this nice little pocket of clouds really drifting across much of the state of Idaho. Uh, but our cold front kind of lingering off there, uh, knocking on the door in western Washington at this point in time. So we've got about one more day uh, before things really start to change. This afternoon, again, we're planning on sunshine. Yeah, the wind will be a factor, but at least we're going to be dealing with lots of sunshine highs close to 70 uh, up in the mountains. We could see the potential for a few of those showers to develop as that front pushes through tomorrow afternoon uh, and into the evening. By tomorrow, Thursday morning, we could be looking at more snow at the highest elevations too. Staying mostly dry down here, uh, but the winds will be a factor again, mostly this afternoon, some tomorrow too, but they do start to relax a little bit uh, once the sun goes down tonight. So I'd say winds sustained between 15 and 25 miles an hour at the strongest points uh, with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Of course, east of Boise, uh, going to be one of those problem spots. And then the winds relax a little bit as we get into the evening tonight uh, with sunset. Daytime high today, 70 degrees, but plan on upper 60s uh, for most of the day. We'll be at 69 actually uh, here in the Boise area for that high temperature. Mostly sunny skies, maybe a good mix of sun and clouds early and then clearing out again this evening with temperatures cooling off into the 50s uh, and eventually into the 40s overnight. 69 for Colville and Mountain Home. That seems to be the popular number on the map today. Look at those 50s in the mountains. Plan for that tomorrow. So where the mountains are today, we will be tomorrow. A 15 degree drop coming in some areas by tomorrow. We're back to 57, uh, so almost looking at a, well, a 10 or 12 degree drop around here. 52 on Thursday. We're stuck in the low 50s through Saturday with a chance of rain sneaking in there on Friday too, and then we'll start to see things improving back into the low 60s by Monday of next week, but count on those 50s really from here on out.